check me about that. I just want y'all to know it's Howard James. You know what I'm saying? HJB, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. My weekly rant is about local artists. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Now, I'm going to piss a lot of people off, but I don't really give a shit. If the shoe fits, stick it up your ass. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> if the shoe fits, wear Jesus. Now, thanks to Jiggy and, you know, some other people, I've met several artists, you know, that done significant things in the in the music industry. I won't say any names because I don't want to seem like I'm dick riding because I'm not because that's not the point. The point is, all of the people that I've met that's had actual success and actually have a career are the most humblest people you ever meet. They're the nicest people. They're so down to earth. Yep. And then you got these assholes around our city that want to act like they sold a million records and you ain't even put out one record at all. And then you want to talk about everything that everybody else does. And at the end, you know, our, 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 our community ends up being just one big, uh, I'm going to go Caucasian. For my Caucasian friends, I learned this clusterfuck. I learned that from them. So, clusterfuck is a great word. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it devalues our our whole brand as a city. You know, if we don't support each other, no one else is gonna support us. You know what I mean? No one yep. else. It's like no one wants the girl that no one wants. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of. Yeah. That type well, of situation. Yeah. <laughs> and the saddest thing is that we have a lot of talent. There's a lot of talented artists. There's a lot of talented producers. There's a lot of talented singers, engineers, et cetera, et cetera. But everybody feels like someone else's success is their loss. And that's not it at all. What's meant for you is what's meant for you. Your success is your success. And no one can take that away from you. There's money there to be gotten. There's, you know, uh, a fame or whatever the hell you want to call it to be gotten, you know, for everybody. There's enough for everybody to go around. If you think about a fan, a listener, right? He doesn't just have one rapper that he listens to. He listens to multiple artists, right? So why can't he be oh. a fan of Howard James, Howard James and Israel? You know what I mean? There is a place. I mean, people might say, well, is your favorite rock band is the Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? But your favorite rap artist is Nas. How do those two things go together? I thought well, it was Mike Gain. Go ahead. Yeah, that's only on Tuesdays and Thursdays of leap year. So, <laughs> so I say this to say, look, cut all the bullshit out. You know, who cares? Who cares if you're the hottest rapper in Wichita? And I'm a rapper from Wichita. You might as well say I'm the hottest rapper in Derby. You know, or the hottest <laughs> rapper in Newton. <laughs> like, you know, I hear these guys. I'm the biggest artist in Kansas. No, you're not. Tech Nine's the biggest artist in Kansas. Let's just be for real <laughs> about the shit. You, you know what I mean? So, quit hating each other. Help each other. How I publicly feel about somebody is going to be different than how I privately feel about them. But publicly, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to lie. But I'm not going to put this person down. I might not like your lyrics, but I might like your beat. I might like your, you know, the way you flow on it. So you never get anywhere by hating. And you never know who's going to be that artist that's going to come back and help you. You never know who's going to be that next artist to who will be big. You know what I mean? So you hate on this guy now, but I bet you if this person blows up, then all of a sudden you'll be on his dick. One thing that me and Jiggy talked about with uh with uh Mamarazzi, Tijuana, shout out Tijuana, that we talked about uh, earlier this week on the uh, on the station here, yeah, is uh how you had so many people who was hating on XV, then they heard he got signed, and then all of a sudden they jumped on his dick. Then oh he's not doing nothing no more, so now they back off his dick. That's real gay, y'all. You know, excuse my language. I'm sorry if I'm not. Well, I think know, the, I think the whole phrase being on his dick is gay. So, but, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. But you know, that's my point. It's like you know, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like first they love you, then they hate you, then they love you again. So Real do talk. what you do. You know what I mean? The reason why I fool with Howard is because. Howard James, I apologize. The reason why I fool with Howard James is because anytime I hear a Howard James track, HJB track, man, it's true to who he is. It's who I know him to be. I don't hear him get on the track and try to be young Jeezy. You know, if I wanted to hear 
you know, why would I listen to a young Jeezy imitation when I could just go listen to Jeezy? Now, that's my rant for the week. Basically, focus on your artistry. Stop being bitches. Now, what I want to talk